Hi, I wanted to make this video particularly for Peter. You know Peter. You know Peter's name if you've ordered one of my products. You've seen the name. He's the one that's made the Whirling Whist machines possible. And uh, he asked me to send him a picture of, of what the video, or excuse me, what the uh, new Whirling Whist machine looks like. And so I, I want to show it to you here. And if you notice here, yeah, I put a little pencil mark on there. And the reason for that and it comes off very easily, is I wanted to know how many of these little pyramids. And I'm going to move this really close. If you can see, they look like triangles, and they're at, at, uh, lined up at an angle, right? And, and so it's like, well, how many of these little triangles? And you could go blind trying to count them. So what I did is I put this little mark on there, and using a pencil, I, I went around, and I was able to go around about a quarter of the way around to you know eyeballing it saying okay well here's here's a quarter or, or you know here's here's a quarter wherever that would be and I counted 32 and there are in each line diagonally five so then I said all right well 32 times five would be how many and um, got an answer times four because I'm only a fourth of the way around, right? So it'd be to get four quarters, you gotta go thirty-two times four times five. And that came to seven hundred and forty. So approximately seven hundred and forty. Could be seven fifty, could be seven thirty, but we'll just say seven forty uh, as the midpoint for my approximation. And what's really neat about this is uh, that each triangle is each, each pyramid here, and it's kind of a golden color because it's got some copper, it's a brass uh, uh, pyramids. They sparks, what is turning in particular, they jump from one pyramid to the other. And, and each spark has each, from each pyramid has the opportunity to jump to any one of the other 740. So if you do that, you've got 740 going to any other pyramid, then the next one has only 739 options because there's already a spark from the first one, right? And then the second one would be 738, so there's only 738 options where it could go. And so in order to, and each one of those different sparks creates a different frequency. So what you, in order to determine the total number of frequencies that you can develop from this, you, from this uh, golden pyramid whirling bliss machine, would be 740 times 739 times 738 times 737 times 36 times 35 on down to 1, or actually 2, because if you multiply by 1, you, <laughs> you know, it doesn't change anything. So... That's how many different frequencies can be generated by this copper. And by moving it, it, it actually moves. And you can see that, for example, if I, if I hold this against the light blue, you might be able to see coming off, off of here, um, uh, uh, the, the uh, sparks. Now, they don't look like red sparks, just kind of a clear white thing. And it doesn't show up so well on camera, but I can see it here in person. And I've shown it to a couple other people, and they go, oh, yeah, I can see it. And it comes off maybe eighth of an inch, quarter inch, it's visible. But you can see that flying around. Now, George Slikowski, uh the inventor of the, of the multi-wave oscillator, uh, said that motion increases the, the activity of the, of the uh, sparks jumping. So this is what, where you get the beauty of this of this whirling, it, it greatly intensifies and increases the amount of activity. He also said that that by having an insulator, and that's the ceramics, also intensifies the, the, uh, the waves. So, and then of course this material, this particular insulator is a special kind of ceramic that by its nature, when air passes over it with the moisture in the air, it generates negative ions. So, <clears throat> as you've seen 
if I have one over here, no, I don't. Um, one of the old Whirling Bliss machines, the first first model, um, it was real thin, about one fifth of the, of the thickness of this, and it would generate each disc, little disc would generate over a million uh, negative ions per second by rotating at 150 uh, revolutions a second because of the increased turbulence, just like you have from a waterfall. So, um, this is five times as thick, plus it's solid all the way around. So you have more material. And if you take a, here's, here's a uh, prototype of a, of a 15K disc. And this prototype 15K disc, I would, it's twice as thick as the, as the little thin ones that you might have, uh, the Whirling Bliss uh, discs at home which generates seven. So the thicker it is, the more it generates just by being stationary. And then of course you have to multiply it by this by the number of rotations that are going on there. If it's you know uh, you know as the ambient air is going by, does this increase the, the turbulence by a hundred, two hundred times? So now you're talking about 10, 20, 50, I don't know, hundred million, could be more per second. And then you've, inten as I said, intensified it with the frequencies. So you have ions and frequencies, waves, working for you. So the ions are, are particles and the waves are waves. So you're getting, you're getting two ways of, of promoting Hall of Fame coincidences. And that's why uh, Amy, her vision improved. Uh, she's 70 years old and she... Uh, has 20-20 vision now. She uses it for three minutes twice a day. Um, and and uh, another gentleman broke in to say that he had a chest, he was sick for a week, and he used it for 10 or 15 minutes and his chest cleared up. And even even the uh, original Whirling Bliss machine, he'd been using it and it, it was not getting rid of what he had. It may have kept him from getting worse, but he didn't get better. So this is the new rendition with your, uh, with your golden pyramids. Oh, just to give you an idea how many that is, when I said 740 times 739, um, I, have a, I have a thing where I counted 12 times 11 times 10, and I think that came to 25 million. I was starting with the number 12. But when you start with 740 and go to 739, I got down to 735, it was close to 220 trillion. And then you'd have to multiply that by 734, 733. And, um, and then if you took those last bits I was telling you about, whatever answer you got when you got down to the 12, you'd still need to multiply it by another 25 million. So that gives you an idea of how many frequencies this can generate. And the body has different frequencies that it really enjoys and different organs and so the more frequencies you can give it, the better it has the opportunity to have a Hall of Fame coincidence. So that's your, your new Golden Pyramid Whirling Bliss Machine. I think it might be the invention of the week, don't you? <laughs> you take care and God bless.